with zoo guests. Number 15, entering a lion enclosure. What's the craziest thing you've ever done after drinking too much? Most of us have a few stories that we're not entirely proud of, but some people completely lose control of their actions. And when they happen to be at a zoo at the time, things can soon become incredibly dangerous. In 2016, guests at the Nehru Zoo Park in Hyderabad, India, were terrified to see a man deciding to cool off in the water, which was 12 feet below the viewing platform of the lion enclosure. Onlookers frantically screamed at him to stay still until the park rangers could bring him to safety. But the man ignored their pleas and continued to wade through the water towards the waiting lions. Singing to himself, he tried to shake hands with the lions, but luckily for him, they were completely uninterested. Eventually, zoo workers were able to lower a pole and haul him out, before handing him over to police, which charged him with various offenses under the Wildlife Protection Act. It just so happens that the time he jumped in was the lion's feeding time, so when the keepers called out to them, they knew they were about to be fed. Had this not been the case, they would have almost certainly attacked the man, and jail time would have been the least of his concerns. He was also lucky that they were so well trained, because if he had done this in virtually any other zoo, even the thought of a big juicy steak wouldn't be enough to deter their natural instinct to hunt. Number 14. Retrieving a Hat When you're on a day out in hot weather, you need to make sure you're adequately protecting yourself from the sun. This can be done by applying lotion or wearing a hat, but the risks of being sunburned are far less than what might happen if you're confronted by a ferocious wild animal. In 2016, a visitor to the Toronto Zoo was faced with a dilemma when her hat was caught by a gust of wind and blew beyond a safety fence. Instead of forgetting about it and buying a new one from the zoo's gift shop, she decided to jump over the fence to retrieve it. Problem was, this meant she had entered the tiger enclosure. And despite there being a second fence that separated her from the big cats, it was still too close for comfort. Sensing a potential meal, one of the tigers lunged towards her, and she could have very easily been severely injured. On this occasion, she was able to get her hat and jump back over the fence, with onlookers shouting at her, calling her a moron. But it could have ended very differently. Zoo officials were unaware of what happened until videos were shared online later that day, and immediately launched an investigation to find eyewitnesses so they could ban the woman from visiting again, and potentially launch legal action against her for recklessness. Number 13. Skinny Dipping Aquariums are a great place to see the wonders of marine life from around the world in a safe and controlled environment, but there are some people who feel like several inches of reinforced perspex doesn't allow them to get as close to the animals as they would like. In 2018, a man from British Columbia was visiting the Ripley's Aquarium in Toronto when he decided to strip naked and take a plunge in one of the tanks. The problem was this wasn't a tank full of harmless fish, but was the venue's main attraction that was full of sharks. Frightened guests saw him splashing about while these giant beasts swam around beneath him, and security guards were soon on the scene. They told him to leave, but just as it looked as if he was about to do as he was asked, he did a backflip into the water and swam around for a few more minutes before leaving for good. According to the aquarium, their policy is not to detain guests who are willingly leaving the building, but he was soon picked up by police who have linked him to another crime that had been committed earlier in the evening. Number 12. Up Close with a Panda Bears are notoriously dangerous animals, and usually are much larger than people, with sharp claws and ferocious temperaments. Panda bears, however, are surprisingly small and appear to be quite docile, which is probably why people tend to think they're much safer to be around. That's not necessarily the case, however, as a visitor to the Nancheng Zoo in Jiangxi Province, China, found out in 2016. The man, identified as Chen, had seen the panda called Mei Ling asleep in its enclosure, so he decided to lower himself to get a closer look at the animal. He walked through the exhibit and waved at Mei Ling, but failed to get a response. He decided to get even closer and touch the bear, and it was at this point that it woke up. The bear then proceeded to wrestle the man in an attempt to protect itself, and he was clearly overwhelmed by how powerful it proved to be. The man manages to free himself from the clutches of the bear, escaped the enclosure, and after a medical examination, was found to be uninjured. As to why he decided to do this in the first place, police said he had visited the zoo with two female companions and was simply trying to show them how brave he was. Number 11. Child in a Gorilla Enclosure There is a fine line in the design of zoos between keeping the animals safely inside their enclosures while letting visitors get close enough to see them, and on occasions, this has led to some frightening situations. One of the most famous took place in August of 1986 at the Durrell Wildlife Park on the island of Jersey in the Channel Islands, 
when a young boy managed to find himself inside the gorilla enclosure. Five-year-old Levin Merritt had been playing and climbing on a wall above the enclosure while his parents were looking elsewhere. When he slipped and fell onto the concrete floor, and in the process was knocked unconscious, crowds gasped as Jambo the gorilla moved towards the boy. But amazingly, instead of attacking like everyone expected, he stood over the boy to protect him from other gorillas in the enclosure. Jambo had never seen a human child up close like this before, but his protective instincts kicked in. At one point, he even stroked the boy's back to try to make sure he was doing okay. When Merritt awoke and cried out for help, the gorillas all backed off, so a paramedic and zookeepers could enter and rescue him. Needless to say, the owners of the zoo installed new safety perimeters so this couldn't happen again. But if someone's intent on entering an enclosure that contains dangerous animals, there's very little anyone can do to stop them. Number 10. Swimming with Polar Bears Zoos install safety barriers and warnings to prevent people from coming face to face with the dangerous animals that they have on show. But sometimes there's nothing you can do to combat stupid. But something that's never been clearer than what happened at the Berlin Zoo in 2009 when a woman decided to take her life into her own hands by going for a swim in the polar bear enclosure. It was feeding time and six keepers were in around the area about to drop pieces of meat in for the bears. But for some reason, the 32-year-old thought that this was the opportune moment to leap over a fence, a line of prickly hedges, and a wall to reach the water. She swam directly towards the bears and was excited as she did so, but she soon realized her mistake. One of the bears bit her a number of times on her arm and her leg before the keepers were able to push it back and lower a rope to pull her free. Just as she appeared to be safe, she fell from the harness back into the water and the bears began to approach her again. But luckily, on the second attempt, she was lifted to safety. It was never clear why she did this, but after weeks in the hospital to recover from her injuries, it's unlikely she'll be in too much of a hurry to do it again. Number 9. Don't Leave Your Car Drive-through safari parks are popular visitor attractions around the world. And while you're probably all too aware of the risks that your windscreen wipers may be stolen by mischievous monkeys, or that you might encounter a curious lion that walks over to your vehicle, one of the most obvious safety precautions at places like these is that you should stay inside your car at all times. A French family seemingly missed this piece of advice on visiting the Bexay Bergen Safari Park near the Dutch city of Tilburg in 2018. However, as video footage shows them and their children leaving their car to get a closer look at the cheetahs, the cats suddenly leap up when they spot the stupid guests and begin to prowl around them to plan their attack. The family are surrounded by the cheetahs and realize the danger they put themselves in, and were able to run back to the safety of their car before the wild animals moved in for the kill. The safari park owner said they were extremely lucky to have made it out alive, and even though guests are told in several languages that they must stay in their vehicles, there's still a few each year that take a risk like this. We are constantly adding more people to the Top 5's production team to bring you all the best content. Be sure to subscribe with notifications on and hit the like button. Number 8. Throwing Snowballs Despite the best efforts by zookeepers and most owners, there's no escaping the fact that containing animals within artificial enclosures is inherently unfair to the creatures, and it's no substitute for the lives they would have had in the wild. Quite often, they'll sit around without much to do. Things are only made worse when idiotic guests decide to try to encourage them to do something. This footage was recorded at the lion enclosure at Amsterdam Zoo. The stunning cats are minding their own business when a group of visitors begins throwing snowballs at them. Unsurprisingly, this riles the lions who leap up into an aggressive posture, not just because they're being tormented, but because snow isn't exactly something they're used to coming into contact with. When they realize there's nothing they can do to prevent attack, the lions start to huddle together to protect each other. It's a horrific example of how stupid people can be when visiting a zoo and is definitely not appropriate behavior. Number 7. Jaguar Selfie with the advent of Instagram and the fact that we all now have powerful cameras on our smartphones, it's rare to go anywhere without seeing someone taking a selfie. But sometimes the quest for the perfect image can put you in danger. In March of 2019, a visitor to the Wildlife World Zoo in Arizona learned this the hard way after jumping over a protective barrier to take a photo of herself with a jaguar in the background. There was still a fence between her and the animal, which she stupidly believed would mean she was safe. But the big cat had other ideas. As she turned her back on it, it swiped its paw through the gap in the fence and slashed her arm, leaving huge gashes. Onlookers helped to distract the jaguar to make it let go of her, but by that time the damage had been done. 
She was rushed to the hospital to be treated when the zoo sent their prayers to her family for her quick recovery. The owner said in an interview that there's no way to fix people going over barriers if they don't realize that they're there for a reason. Number six, throwing rocks. Pandas are notoriously lazy creatures, and if you ever see one in a zoo, the chances are it won't be moving around much and will spend most of its time sitting in one position. This can be frustrating for excited guests, however, and some decide to take things into their own hands to make things more interesting. In this footage, which was recorded in Beijing Zoo in 2019, instead of shouting at the bear, which would have been bad enough, two guests started pelting the panda with rocks to try to wake it up. According to the person who filmed it, the first person threw smaller rocks, and the second person who was not caught on camera threw larger pieces over the space of 30 minutes. Fortunately, on this occasion, the panda wasn't injured at all and continued on with its usual daily routine. But there's no way the culprits could have known that that would be the case. By the time the zoo found out about it, it was too late to track them down and punish them. But anyone caught doing something like this is rightfully charged and imprisoned for animal cruelty. Number five, etching names on a rhinoceros. Ever since humans have been able to write, they've been obsessed with etching their names onto things. Graffiti has been found on Roman ruins and even older structures that prove this is true. But have you ever heard of someone carving their name into a living animal? That's what an idiotic couple decided to do in 2019 at the La Palmer Zoo in southwestern France. Officials noticed something unusual about one of the rhino's backs, and upon closer inspection found the names of Camille and Julian had been scratched into the dirt and flaky skin. The zoo has an exhibit where guests can get close to the animals, with just a small barrier between them, so they can stroke them and really get a feel for what the animals are like. But the idea of marking one of them like this is unforgivable. The zoo said in a statement that they were outraged by the stupidity and disrespect shown by the two visitors. And while they wouldn't be prosecuting them, they wouldn't be welcomed back. As for the words that had been left on the rhino, it was nothing that a scrub with a brush couldn't remove, and it was probably completely unaware that it had been done in the first place. Number four, man versus spider monkeys. Brazil is home to some of the most biodiverse regions in the world, and you'd think that if anyone was aware of how dangerous some animals can be and the importance of respecting them, then it would be the people who have grown up there. It seems though that alcohol causes all knowledge of this to disappear, and in 2011, a man was caught on camera doing something incredibly stupid. Joao Leite de Santos was a mechanic from Sao Paulo, later admitted he had been drinking all day before visiting the nearby Sorocoba Zoo, but had no memory of what happened when he got there. On the video, he's seen climbing over a fence, jumping into a pool, and then swimming towards a group of spider monkeys in the enclosure. These animals are definitely not as friendly as they may seem. They gathered by the water's edge and started reaching out for him, perhaps mistakenly thinking they were trying to rescue him from the water. The man gets even closer. But when he's within reach, one of the monkeys sunk its teeth into his wrist, and another started biting his shoulder and arm. Unbeknownst to him, spider monkeys are highly territorial and felt threatened the moment he had crossed the fence. Realizing he'd made a huge mistake, Dos Santos headed back towards the fence, where several zookeepers helped to pull him to safety and administered medical assistance. The bites were so severe that he was taken to hospital to be treated, and police began building a case to charge him for reckless behavior. Number three, Chinese peacocks. Peacocks are some of the most beautiful birds you'll find anywhere in the world, with huge plumes of feathers that branch out when they're trying to attract a mate. With such stunning patterns, people often like to collect the feathers, but usually this is only done by searching for ones that have fallen off naturally. In 2018, however, a group of tourists who were visiting the Zhuyuan Zoo in Jiangsu, China, did something unimaginable. They jumped into the peacock enclosure and started to pluck feathers from four of the birds. They removed so many that the peacocks hardly had any left by the end of the ordeal, and they were bleeding profusely from where they had been attacked. Fortunately, none of them died as a result. They were quickly taken from the enclosure to a quarantine facility where they were treated and began to recover. In a worrying twist, one of the managers from the zoo said this wasn't the first time someone had tried to do this, and there simply weren't enough staff to keep an eye on people's behavior all the time. This particular enclosure had 41 peacocks with just three members of staff assigned to look after them which is nowhere near enough to make sure they are safe with so little fencing to separate people from them. Number two, kidnapping a penguin. Penguins are undoubtedly some of the coolest birds on earth. Because they usually live in such hostile or difficult to reach environments, the only places people are normally able to see them is in a zoo. The fact that they seem so happy to be in artificial enclosures is misleading because they'd much prefer to be in the open ocean. 
Their overall happy appearance means that not only are they one of the most popular exhibits at the zoo, but people also often think they'd make for great pets and would be fine if they were around people. In 2012, after an evening of heavy drinking, two Welsh friends who were traveling through Australia thought it would be funny to try to rescue one of the penguins from the Sea World on Queensland's Gold Coast. They brazenly broke into the venue with a local after attending a nearby beach party. And then the three of them started by swimming in a pool with dolphins. Once they got out, they found a fire extinguisher, which they set off in the shark tank, and then they turned their sights on the penguins. They carefully entered the enclosure and caught a seven-year-old fairy penguin called Dirk and took it home with them. According to statements that were filed during their prosecution, the friends woke up the next morning with the penguin in their apartment and had no memory of how it had got there. They tried to look after it by feeding it and putting it in the shower to keep it wet, but once they realized how difficult this would be, they tried to set the penguin free in a nearby canal. Thankfully, a group of locals saw them doing this and had heard of the incident at the aquarium, so they called the police who quickly arrested the men and made sure the penguin was returned safely to its enclosure. The two men were then charged for trespassing and theft and were fined a thousand Australian dollars each, which is the equivalent of around 720 US dollars. Number one, Taipei Lion Enclosure. While they aren't the largest species of cat in the world, lions have somewhat of a reputation for being some of the most dangerous and unpredictable ones. So are probably the last animals you'd want to willingly enter a cage with, especially without any experience or protective equipment. In 2004, though, a man in Taiwan did possibly the stupidest thing to ever take place in a zoo by doing just that. He had been visiting Taipei Zoo and, according to eyewitness reports, seemed to become possessed and intent on converting the lions to Christianity. He jumped over the fence into the enclosure and started shouting towards them that Jesus would save them. The two cats, a lion and a lioness, ignored him at first, but this just made him try harder. He started asking them to bite him, and eventually they did just that. They leapt towards him, attacked his right arm, and tore his clothes to pieces. Amazingly, the zookeepers were on the scene quickly and were able to deter the lions with water hoses and tranquilizer darts, and they were able to get the man to safety. Despite the ordeal, he somehow managed to get away with just minor injuries to his arm and leg, something the keepers said happened because the lions had only just been fed. If they were hungry when the man entered, there's no chance he would have made it out alive. It was called Cheng Chong Ho, and it's likely he was suffering from a delusion that made him believe he was living a real-life version of the story of Daniel in the lion's den from the Bible. Perhaps it truly was a miracle that he survived, or that he was just extremely lucky. Subscribe to Top 5s for more and check out some of our other popular videos.